Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, relinking your media in Adobe Premiere Pro. Relinking can be a freaking nightmare. Premiere Pro is smart as long as you don't go behind its back and move stuff. If, if you're leaving things where they are and just opening them up, then you shouldn't have any relinking problems. Sometimes if you're given a, a project or you migrated to a new computer, um, you might have to relink. The good thing is relinking inside Premiere Pro is smart enough that if, if nothing has moved from the original location, you relink once, everything will be relinked. Let's have a look. So this is the notorious giant, oh my God, my files are missing dialog box that you get. And you'll get this link media dialog box before you've opened a project. I just unlinked all my media and then went to relink it here just so I can get this dialog box come up. So I have all of the clips listed that I am missing. And down on the bottom left, it says 247 clips missing. It has the last known path name inside here, the file name, the clip name, and the media start. Bottom left, you can choose to relink to a file name with or without a file extension. Sometimes people will relink from something smaller, say ProRes, to something bigger like 4K Red, and that's what that's for. You can also look for the media start and tape name and clip ID, and the clip ID is mostly for cameras that will save a lower, uh, easier to use version like Airy, and then you're going back to the Airy RAW later. You can align the time code, uh, which is a good idea. You, this is the most important one. Relink others automatically. So once I find the first one, if all of the others are in the same location, then it will um, find the rest and I'm gonna use the media browser to locate the files. You'll see that in a second. You can also choose to preserve interpret footage settings. So if you've ever worked on this project and you've had to right click, modify, and interpret the footage differently, if you don't have that checked, it's gonna reset to the default. If you have that checked, whatever you did in the original project is gonna be there. I'm not gonna choose that, but I'm gonna click on locate. And when I click locate, it's found the first one and it's, it's found one simply by only displaying the exact file name. When I click on this, it shows me everything of where I am. Most importantly, here's the path and I didn't move this, but here's the original path. There's the last path in the top. Here's the path where I'm at right now. This is very useful if, for instance, you've just changed a drive and you went from um, drive A to drive B, then you can easily just change that value there. I'm going to leave that selected, click OK, watch this, it finds everything and 247 files relinked that easy. Now, if it didn't find all of them, it would have found as many as it could that were in the original path and it would stop and give you another list of more that it can't find. And occasionally you have to offline something, like let's say you had a, um, uh, a motion graphics that you know was old and it's not being used or a title or an approval output that you had stuck in the project that you don't care about anymore and it comes up in the list, you can just offline that one. Just click offline and then keep going. I'll also use this sometimes if I need to open up a Premiere Pro project and maybe add something in like a title and all the media is offline. I don't have the media. Somebody just asked me to make a title. They can send me their project either through email or Creative Cloud, open it up, drop in that, save it with all the missing media and when I give it back to the original person, they open it up because they have the media, it's gonna relink to their files. So. Relinking is essential and um, Premiere Pro's got a pretty comprehensive way to relink when you're missing those files. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for Video Revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.